Language is an important part of our sense of who we are, of our identities, origins and cultures. It is estimated that there are more than 6,000 oral languages in the world today. Most of them are spoken by indigenous peoples. But every two weeks, one indigenous language dies. With this extinction, we are losing unique cultural, historical and ecological traditional knowledge. To prevent this from happening, you and DESA brought together international experts to discuss and propose actions to keep indigenous languages vibrant and alive. This is essential to maintaining and revitalizing the heritage and identity of indigenous peoples, but also to nurture and maintain the vast traditional knowledge about ecological processes and the protection of some of the most vulnerable ecosystems in the world. Our indigenous peoples who have enormous amounts of knowledge, special knowledge about plants, about animals, about their environment, about their history, about their people, special ways of living in the world, about their ceremonial traditions. Involuntary displacement from ancestral lands, discrimination, social exclusion and increasing urbanization threaten indigenous cultures. Is that our languages have been steamrolled by colonial processes for many generations. In the North American context, uh, our children were rounded up from the homes and, and forced to go into boarding schools with the express purpose of stopping the languages, of preventing the transmission of the knowledge from the, the elder generation. The UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples explicitly mentions the right to revitalize indigenous languages and calls on states to take effective measures in this regard. At the expert group meeting, the need for action becomes apparent. And we need funding immediately. We have to stop talking about it and do something. In the past years, some efforts have been made to keep indigenous languages alive. However, it is necessary to raise awareness and further actions need to be taken by the UN, member states and indigenous peoples. In terms of logistics, money. But it is also important to raise awareness. One of the strategies identified to support cultural diversity and to promote indigenous languages is the use of information and communication technologies by indigenous peoples. I think the biggest thing is, is to make it possible for people to share among themselves, to, to show that their, uh, their languages are not just ancient history, but that their languages are things that can be vital and used on a daily basis. Now it's possible using email, using video chatting, using other technologies to, to communicate. We shouldn't be intimidated by speaking our language. We should be proud of it. Indigenous peoples, with the use of ICTs, can play an important role in maintaining their languages and hence valuable knowledge, art and music. How alive indigenous languages can be shows 14-year-old Renata Flores. <laughs> Sumasumakan ki, umamuyus kan kanika.